It's here, season eight of EU4 Dev Clash with your hosts, Jake and Chris. Right. Hello, everybody. We're back. I hope you're back. Yes, indeed. It's time for the truly the Olympics of Paradox Gaming. Yes, probably the best Paradox EU4 Dev Clash known to man. Yes. Yeah. We're shaking things up in a big way, if you haven't been uh, keeping track on our forums and uh, various broadcasts. And why, why wouldn't you? I don't yeah, understand I don't that. Know. We are playing some uh, 1444 historical oddity here. Yes, and yes, we are going full ahistorical yeah. with our awesome custom nation set up here. Yeah, so all of our players jumping in, all 22. Two of them. Well, well I guess 21. 21 plus the best. Plus, yeah. plus the, the untouchables. Yes, the unbeatables. <laughs> yes, uh, so they're all playing as their custom nations here. The rest of the map is going to be filled up with random historical nations. So you might see France and China. You might see Ulm taking over uh, all of India. Who's to say? And, and who uh, knows where Prussia will be? Oh, well, some people are hoping <laughs> for, <laughs> for some, some hoping for others. So our players are making their own nations. They have 200 points to take both land and their own ideas. But we're also playing with random development. So yeah. London ain't all that, but Gloucestershire is Gloucestershire, the place to be. Where it's, it's where it's at, people. Yeah, I'm who sorry, would believe? Sorry to say, but the birthplace of uh, Chris isn't looking so I've, well. I've got high hopes it's going to develop. <laughs> I can see it going... I don't think birthplace of Jace, uh, Jake yeah. is looking too great either. How about uh, Stockholm's so-so? Where are the real Yeah, places? no change there, though. Yeah. <laughs> we can't say that, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, Dallas, go again. Not too shabby. But yeah, it's... Oh, man. This this guy right here. Iglano. That, that's the high development. That's in North Kubaluba. Yeah, so we got uh, random development, random nations, and these custom nations. So yes, uh, once we get into the game, we'll be able to see what has spawned and what ideas yeah, our players have picked. Because our players have spent last week, and probably actually the week before, trying to work out the ultimate idea mix. It, it has been a bit crazy around the office with people huddling over screens going, no, 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 you got to pick this one or this one in order and uh, um, no, save, save this for last. And we also then had to ban certain cultures. Yeah, the the fun thing about this is being uh, you know figuring out all the wee things that we uh, we need to tweak with this to make it all uh, all fair, I suppose. Yes. I mean, it's never going to be perfectly fair. I feel for Great Tragula, which was assigned the Poland region. Yes. Whereas certain people got some pretty good regions to set up in. So the way the players got assigned was they were given regions and they were allowed to take only land within that region. Nobody else could infringe upon it, and at we, least until the game starts, then they yeah. can go nuts. And then we also, to cut down on excessive border gore, which we know upsets our fans, we said full states wherever possible. Yes, so as, as you can see, Daniel here, he's uh, limited himself to what he's, uh, he's taking there. Or is he? Mm, I don't know, maybe he's been... But yes, but in general, you know, we've the people have tried to create contiguous countries, I mean, without too much border gore. Yeah, we try to cut down on the border gore galore. Course, even, know, even Starnan's working to keep a contiguous country here. Calling it Prussen, though, I wonder what... I think the, he has ambitions there, but... We'll see. We'll see. I mean, we might discover he's like Shia or something like this. Yeah. We wait. Wait. We wait to see his ideas. Yeah, we're going. We're not going to uh, perverse in any way the setup here by poking at what people are doing. We will look at them once the game has started. Once that die is cast. Yes. Then we're going to poke into the different ideas, the cultures, the religions that people have gone for, and. Uh, mm -hmm. People, uh, people gave a quick. Well, all they really showed was their flag and their name during the player profiles. Yes. So, but there's been quite a bit of talk around the office. So I think iridescent horde might be a bit of a giveaway for what uh, who's playing over here. Regier is playing. Yes, as. I've got a feeling he has ambitions there. Uh, we'll be in the player map mode here for a bit so people actually understand where the people are ending up. We got Grugi who's decided to eat up all of his. I forget. Is this uh, Caucasia region? Caucasia, yes. Yeah. Sir Vancour is being quite modest with taking over the Anatolia region here. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Letter Z, he got uh, very unfortunate with the Mashar region. And, oh well, yeah, you know what? Not too bad. Not, not too bad at all. 
Will cats and Johan ally? Says Stereo Tsar. We don't know. We'll we will we will let you know. Yeah, they have the same. When they ally, we'll 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 let you know. Yeah, they have the same flag. So is this going to be something to unite over, or something? Or to, will it be uh, just one flag? Yeah, one flag to rule them all. Mm -hmm. That's going to be confusing when it comes to fighting. So it's, yeah. maybe one of them takes military ideas, the other does not, and you don't know which one you're engaging with. That could be very. And you can see people have finely tuned their nations. You know, not a point going to waste unless you are uh, Frederic. He could only get 199 no, points. That, that kind of inoptimal play is going to spell the end for Vassalia. Mm -hmm. uh, another person that got a really good role here. And people were semi-randomly rolling for regions. You could pick which group of regions and then you had to roll for which one. Uh, Vandalia down here got a very beneficial area, although they're not taking uh, not taking it all. Yeah, so but it could I can be... Are they planning to drive south into darkest Africa though? That could be it. That could be it. With all uh, all the benefits they give themselves at the start, uh, they might we well set... run over. Right, so we're just waiting for Gnevnom. A few left to pick here. Yeah, just a few left finishing up, and then yes. uh, they should poke us because we'll need to ready up last, I rather think. Mm -hmm. Uh, been told to fix my hair. Oh. Didn't realize this was, uh, you know, makeover hour. Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> Just let it do a thing. Yeah, you know. it, it can do something. My my hair's awesome. Who's no, oh, he did go for Kuba Luba. We got uh, we got Bjorn B over here. Yes, he's and North Kuba Luba. Wow, wouldn't know is he going to try to unite with South Kuba Luba? Who's well, he has gone for the motto Luba up. I don't yeah. know if there's some hidden message there. Yeah, it must be because he's up on the map, up north. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, the Rurik, the iridescent horde, Ustros, yes, Zikania. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's so modest. Uh, this is this is tiny though. What is this? And what, also, what is what is, is this? Is, is he is Alex here in breach of our rules? Yeah, I think he's in breach of our border gore rules. Yeah, someone needs to tap Alex and tell him to stop doing border gore galore. Yeah. What is this even? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can work this keyboard thing. No, I can't. No, right. it, it it does um, not. I'll try this. Ooh. Ah! There, we, there go. we go. Yes. Let's see if we get that fixed. Yeah, I know. Because anybody who's a uh, a watcher around here knows that we can't stand the border gore. It all, it all needs to be in good working order here. Yes, so contiguous territory, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, there, there's nothing too wrong with taking islands around here. So I've got a, got a bit of an outbreak here on mm -hmm. uh, on Iceland. And of course, taking... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I wonder what the development on the... Okay, it would be pretty amazing if we had like a little Paris here. On well, the Pharaohs. No, sadly not even Iceland. No, but uh, Stavanger actually. Twenty, I guess the oil Must be the oil, oil industry is booming here in yes. the 15th century. People are telling us to uh, enforce more diverse colours. Well, actually, uh, there are only I think 30 or 20 something colours available, yes. so we had to make do with what we had. Might, might be an incentive to uh, yes. somebody to add more to them then. Yes, we also mm -hmm. have a. Uh, um, Religion. Should we oh. show off the yeah. religions? Yeah, I don't think there's any harm in showing that off right now. Here we go. Okay, oh, so, so there's an awful lot of Shia going down. Oh yeah, the the Islam is strong here because Shia have that wee bit of morale boom, but yes. they're they're gonna have trouble because these guys are gonna naturally be Christians around here. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the so we have the Shia Orthodox. Prussia there, as promised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shia Prussia, Shinto Russia, Tengri yeah. North Kuvaluba. Yes. Uh, the uh, Cox is all Catholic. The Jewish over in Zakania. Yes. Oh, that's pretty hardcore. We also have a bit of Norse going on. Yeah, so we got the. Uh, they don't the, get nice. They get Norse up here. And in the Dan Bre Law there. Britannia. Yes. Holland has also gone full Norse. Mm -hmm. Alright, Jess, we better ready up. Okay, uh, well, Savannah, of course, still needs to ready up, but I think we're good to uh, ourselves. So. Yes. 
Yeah. We observe and ready. Yes, yeah, so we've now just have him. We've done our part. Yes, we have done our bit. And then hopefully we will be ready to roll. Yes, we have a. So, that. You, do, don't you, you, I just want to check something. Don't you have to be Protestant? To form Prussia. You do, so that means he could never do it straight away. Yeah, so he's not going full Prussia straight mm -hmm. off the bat. Yeah. And we have changed the cost for the Prussian government. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're going to see anyone who starts off as Prussian monarchy. Well, we'd we'll never know with Starnan yeah. here. He might be at it. It's but a very humbly sized nation. Yeah, so I, I mean, he's saving his points on something. Has he bought the Prussian government? Doesn't uh, Great Tragula look like they're in a bit of a pickle here already? Well, definitely, uh, Trin Tragula here is going to have to show his elite diplomacy skills. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have much space to expand there. I like the Sheridan's way of uh, mm -hmm. securing the coastline. I don't think uh, Meneth over in Canapes is looking all too happy. Yeah, we're telling uh, yes. telling uh, Alex of Alexandria. Mm -hmm. He's got to shape up his borders here. Yeah, because border gore is outlawed. Yeah, you must be contiguous. I think he's like at, at Alex I. Yes. It's a nice thing about being observer here. We are the uh, the mm -hmm. adjudicator, independent yes. adjudicator. Yes, we decide the rules. Somebody's asking if there's a functioning HRE. We won't know until we start up. Yes. Maybe I. Maybe no. Mhm. Mm now we said we'd take about uh, fifty minutes at start for everyone to ready up. We are running. Almost to the end of that time, so yeah. he needs to. Uh... Right. Ah, okay. there we go. Border he course. Gave, he gave up the Sioux. Yes, border course solved. We are good to rumble now. Oh, he, he decided yeah. he wanted to take just a bit more. Yes, for a few provinces more. Yes, so yeah. let's let's rumble, people. Okay, only Alex himself needs to ready up, and he is. So we're looking good to go. Time to get into it. Sir Guy Man is asking if we'll notice this comment. Don't think we will. Nah. nah. nah it doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. As ever, though, we do have the chats. In fact, we've got them there and there. So if yes. you want to poke at us, just post at Paradox Interactive with your questions, comments, or just overall praise. Yes. Uh, that's, that's good as well. Yes, it's um, 200 points we gave them. Mm hmm. And so. most of them cutting it real fine. Sir Savannakur, not actually there. Oh, sure. yeah. They're no. sure they got points to waste. Yes, yeah, Savannakur, though, you know, experienced. QA obviously decided to give everyone else a fighting chance yeah. there, and I got admire sportsmanship. Got to be sporting. Speaking of things to admire, people can make their own ideas. They can also write descriptions for their own ideas. There will be flogging for people that uh, just lack that originality. Well, definitely. We I think we will actually give a trophy out for idea selection. Oh. -ho. We'll, we'll we'll see how many trophies we yeah. get, but I definitely think if people make a good effort. Mm -hmm. We're going to need to keep an eye and see how the, the wars go. If there's any early wars, we're going to need to check those out fast. And if there's any, um, we'll want to take a look at the map to see how it's set up, see where yeah, France we'll, we'll is, give, see We'll give a few is. three minutes in yeah. be before we start up. Here we are, people are coming in slowly. Excellent. Slowly but surely, in they come. Everybody's in. Oh, well, maybe I, th I think everyone's in. All players have arrived. Yeah, so let's let's get that political map mode up as quick as possible. Yeah, once. And we'll see what the world has given us. I can see a very misplaced England already. Oh, <laughs> oh man, the British are not so happy there, are they? So just about any nation can spawn to begin yeah. with here. Well, we, we have a separate England and Great Britain. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, not to be confused with uh, Tarascan here. So, aye, this is looking good. There won't be any wars for the first month anyway. Let's go through the world here. So we got Estonia, Karelia, and Sean, the major players mm -hmm. over in... And the, Arwak as well there. Yeah, and also Scott, very... And Gotland, of course, just to add. Yeah, so do they get their... Yeah, they get their Gutnish traditions right there. So everything that made the Gotlanders Gutnish are still them. good. Oh, yes. yes. Who's ruling Gotland, by the way? I just... And Gotland itself No, no, ruled. I'm talking about the actual the rulers of Gotland. Ah, because okay. It's uh, Thomas Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> That, that old cracker. Yes. There we go. Oh, Germany over in Normandy. Yes. <laughs> Germany will be defending Normandy to the last. Yeah, so. enjoying their French ducal tradition. <laughs> yes. So sorry, every uh, every German out there. 
Uh, Aquitaine seems to be in a position so that they kind of muscle out all the other uh, AIs. I think they're going to look to consolidate the realm as fast Probably as they can. Probably quickly. Utsang still not catching a break, even on random set Yeah, or poor Utsang, yeah, yes. And, what, and who's got um, Antwerp? Or oh, where's it? Uh, Zilan now? Here we go. We have got Choctaw. Choctaw. Okay, yeah. that'll be, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, German Choctaw hanging out there. Yeah. Krakow to the south, Sardinia as well. You don't see them often enough. And in actual Sardinia, We've got the Karakayunlu, yeah. and okay, they're just a monarchy right now, no hoarding. Ochi is about to go ouchie, because they're going to be consumed yes, by Yes, Westphalia there, digging in on the, on the North African coast. Yeah, uh, Germany is a, a right mess. I'm not sure we have a functioning HRE here. Can oh. probably can probably have a quick check. No, the HRE did uh, uh, left the building. Here. Yeah, it's, it's having none of this. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Finland there, camping out in Pomerania. All right, looking good. I wonder if they I wonder what ideas they are ending up. Yeah, they're, they're still going to finish. And look at this province here 32 development of Kohlberg. That's pretty That's the place awesome. To be. And I think, uh, I'm not sure who's going to want it. Will the Proust go loose or will Millhaven uh, take it off? We also got Styria there hanging out in northern Jutland. Mm -hmm. The Abenaki tribes uh, making, it, making yes, it into themselves here. Yes, little kingdom there. Mm -hmm. Cusco there, I don't think they have much gold. No. Not this time. Never, never, never yeah. mind. No, <laughs> and matter. Funny because these are the Finnish colours, right, uh, yeah. right here as well, Finland. There's a Navajo up there. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Neva looking next to the the Navajo. Yeah. The the Garhwal is stuck between North Kubaluba and Neva Luki. So it's going to be confusing for our players for a while and when they go, oh no, France has declared war on me, and then it's like, oh, which France? Oh, yeah. the two province minor France. The Prius they are hanging out there. Paris would be rather upset. Mm -hmm. That's how he's cut. Uh, Okay, the iridescent horse. Look at that Pegu. Whoa! Oh, 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 great time. And they're, they're even the right colour as well. You just, uh, it's, just it's do awesome. a double take. It's the Ottomans. The Otto Pegu. Uh -huh. And they, uh, what have they got? They've got the Pegu tradition, so not quite uh, core creation cost and uh, discipline. And look at Castile there, hanging out there in the... Yeah, aye. Are they, they got little islands as well. Yeah, yeah, they do. They're spread out. The development is... Uh, Horrendous, but whatever. Oh, well, not. oh well, not over in uh, Cabri uh, Kibris. Cyprus, as we call it. Nah. Uh, uh, we little Tonkin there. The Great Horde, not so great <laughs> that's, that's, after that's, being relegated to uh, Greece. Yeah. Uh, but who's in Moria there? Uh, who's this little guy we got here? Yeren. See, I find it more interesting when you find nations that are actually in the right place. <laughs> well, I this, like Sweden uh, as well. Look at Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we just want somewhere warm, please. Yes, I mean, after the winter we've had, I've, I endorse this move. Yeah, no, they didn't get uh, Malta though. No, that's with still... our, our island Karakul okay, units. Right. Manahan. Okay, Nuremberg's not far off there. Yes, they're home. getting close to home. They could. Yeah. The Apache camping out there in central Germany. All right, what do we have here? Oh, Switzerland's kind of close as well. The creek far away from home. Yes, they're proverbial creek there. Mm -hmm. We little Brittany, oh, they, they're going to start the coalition against the star now, and they'll yeah. be the ones to but bring I love it, Brittany down. and England right next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so England have got a fair chunk of development here. Mm -hmm. yeah, not to say Brittany don't have their own. All right, so all, all interesting over there in Europe. What do we have in North Africa? Loango. We've got Comanche, the Tippinet. Who's over here? Gur no, no. Well, them. Yeah, those guys. Yeah. Uh, they're camping. Yeah, everyone knows who they are. Westphalia, of oh, course. Uh, that's that's where I remember them last. Yes. Uh, we've got the, the Salish and the Bremen. Bremen's yeah. a little lost here. So Bremen and Westphalia right next to each other, as historically accurate. The Emirate of Bremen. <laughs> yes. Uh, as, as the Pope decided. Mm -hmm. uh, Should so we fire up the culture map mode and see what they have done? Oh, yes. Uh, got a good opportunity to do this, don't we? So we got the Ruthenian looking big, looking damn big. Uh, looks like the... Try, try to look for anything that's really been changed up here. Nothing has changed, actually. No. So, I mean, these guys... Uh, okay, Britannia decided to go English, so... Bah. Bah, humbug. Um, Poor choice. What about... Uh, okay, Leonese. So it doesn't look like a lot of people really changed their culture. Although oh, we have got du the Dutch! What? Dutch in Rome! Yeah, Go the Dutch. Dutch. Dutch have touched down here. Yes. Well, do we have anything else that's kind of out there? Catalan! Yes, oh, cats. Ah, cats. So Cat said, Cat said ah. he wanted to go Catalan. Well, <laughs> more power to you. Yes. Zeke declares Champagne his arrival. Oh. Well, that's... Uh, 
Okay, who Sardinian is over here for the Sheridan. Uh, why did he go Sardinian? Do maybe because he, he maybe because he wants to uh, go into Italy. share with his new culture here. <laughs> All right. What um, what else do we have culturally though? This Scanian down here. You can't be serious. We can be. Okay. So uh, the Ostaras are, uh, yes. are indeed Scanian. So <laughs> I, I did ask her we were meant to pronounce Scanian things. He said you just kind of talk with your jaw, kind of broken out like that. <laughs> yeah. So, so well, I'm sure he'll. And then we have Hebrew ideas. culture there and Babylonian. <laughs> <laughs> It's like uh, the, the Bay of Lost Cultures here. So. And Norwegian sitting there in North Africa, as it should be. Yes. Okay, so exciting times for us. Uh, people are saying Muscovite over in uh, Prussia. Yes, so. that's an interesting choice from Starna. Yes, indeed. wonder what he is going for there. Well, we know what Starna is going for. Everything. Yes, it's, it, it's not what is he going for, but what is he not going for? Yeah, but uh, perhaps an early coalition can bring the Starman down. But uh, I think he, I think he's very much prepared for that. Yeah. We, yeah. Well, he has been known to pursue an aggressive playstyle. Mm. Yes, people are curious about ideas. Should we start checking them out? Well, I don't really see why uh, why we couldn't. Where do you think we'll start then? Should we start out with North Kubaluba? North. Yeah, we'll start with the outlier here. Don't think we've checked their culture either. They're, they're Aquitanian. Mm. Of course. Uh, how, blur. how could I? Uh, how could I forget? I think they get the Aquitanian culture up there. All well, right. So I can see an Aquitanian province here, actually. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes. There we go. All right. So if we jump into North Kubaluba seats, mm -hmm. it allows us to see quite a few things. Oh, we got an uh, out of sync from the get go. So I think. Uh, oh. We kind we kind of figured this one might pop up, but we can save and uh, reload for. Uh, for that one, mm -hmm. but whilst that one's going on, we can have a quick look at the North Kuba Luban ideas. So he so went for. He's got the ta tax straight away and the admin cost. So. Uh, and when he completes them all, he will get fort maintenance. Mm -hmm. That's quite a defensive one. Yeah. Okay. So he has he has written down um, written down descriptions for his ideas. So that's a big <laughs> plus for the Bjorn already. Yes, the Bjorn. So, uh, the Kuban Luban food culture. It's hard to find food stuff unless you like, like the Kuban, Kuban Luban, Luban food. food. Okay, so if if you're pillaging around in North Kuba Luba, you're going to starve because you don't like what passes for food yes. in North Kuba Luba. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, we're getting ready to re-host here. We might be, we might possibly. Well, what... Uh, I think somebody had uh, some settings on that they shouldn't have, which, uh, mm -hmm. which is causing that one. But, yeah. uh, okay, the server is lost, so... So uh, what we'll do is we will cut to a cut screen. Yeah. We will get ourselves rehosted, and then we will be back many apologies. I wonder if we can just show the uh, the player profiles again. Yes. Yeah, uh, there'll them. be too many people that missed that golden moment. Yes, okay. Mm. In the meantime, yeah. let's rehost. Yes, indeed.
Oh, we're back. We're oh, back. We're oh, back. We are back. Fantastic. We were too busy doing a critique of the video there, but we are now back. Yeah, I mean, as we don't... you can see, players are just coming back in, and yes, we we were just admiring the Roman Empire there. Yeah, so they have spawned on the map just next to North Kubaluba. Yes, and they will have their revenge in this stream or the next. next. Yes, <laughs> uh, but. You might think, oh yeah, but uh, what, what's with all this land? You know, it seems like no man's land. Well, no, it's, uh, it's, a very it's Shanda's land. <laughs> so. so Bjorn B has an interesting expansion route there. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember players going, oh, I really hope I'm on the edge of all the players. So I got this wonderful AI regions to expand into, into the east. I don't think Bjorn is uh, rubbing his hands with glee at the presence of massive Shanda. Not that they have the best of development around here. But you they need don't to need to... that good of development when you're that big. No, no. <laughs> go big or go home around here. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, the Aztecs have gone big, that's for oh, sure. Yeah, that's, that's quite an Aztec empire uh, there, right? Mm -hmm. Be prepared. Be very be very prepared there. Champagne, that's, uh, I think it was Zeke's rival. Yes, Zeke Champagne. is already. Look at Cologne there as well, actually. Oh, wow. Spreading right the way down the Nile. Mm-hmm. We Kazan tucked away there. They won't uh, be around for too long. The black foot over there. Oh, yeah, we're back rolling in. So yeah. we were admiring um, Bjorn B's awesome idea yeah. choices. Yeah, we're going to jump back to them, and we will probably uh, look around that and until such time as we have some war going on. Yes. Yeah. So let's um. Yeah, let's get back to the good old North Kuba Kuba Luba, shall here, we? Yes. <clears throat> with um. With it. Should we just check to see if Chan does a horde? I think we should just... Oh, it would amuse me to no end. It's, it's there a oh, 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 yes. Yes. That's... Better pay your tribute, Bjorn, or else yes. you're going to be in some Bjorn deep trouble. Bjorn Ching! Yes. <laughs> it's a Roman Empire horde. Uh, he's, all, that... he's already got his debt collectors next door. It's a Roman Empire horde, though. Oh, please. Yes! 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 <laughs> the Roman hordes. Yes, a Roman carnate there. Oh, that is too awesome. There can only be one here between them, though. They they might be slugging it out. That also means, you know, there's not going to be much of a colonization route up here. I hope no, Bjorn fact, wasn't planning a peaceful in fact, colonization. There's very game. little colonization options around yeah. here. Let did he take take a colonist idea? That'll be yeah. interesting. Well, we can have a look at his ideas right, right here, so, right now. So we had Kubalubin food. Yeah, the Kubalubin attraction. Ever ye one <laughs> wants to be part of the Kubalubin Empire. Core creation costs cheaper. Kubalubin traditions, Kubalubin soldiers are very disciplined. Indeed they are. Being morally superior gives the Kubalubin soldiers a boost. <laughs> I mean like boost chocolate bar? Uh, I'm not oh, sure. That capable women, that's what yeah. we like to see. Yeah, very capable. And they're naturally curious, quick to embrace new ideas. And they're a very developing country. <laughs> yes, that's... They got away with words, our Bjorn. Yes, our Bjorn. I think you should, um... I think it'd be better if you could have photoshopped okay. them. They're, they're being left, led by Abenu Manjit. I'm, I'm not sure that he uh, he really named his... Uh, his no, I think there. that was a random. Solid 555 five, five there. Can't complain. All right, we got war straight away. Uh, who do we even jump to for this? Well, let's start with Starnan and see who he's gone to. Uh, oh, no. No, Starnan is the peaceful one here. Starnan is peaceful. We got uh, Alex. All right, so Alex and Rhea is going after okay. Carissia there. To s that's a good yeah, pick off the weakest one. Fido taking on the Garwal and the Shoshone straight mm. away. Yes, uh, Gnivum is fighting off against the Kong. Yes, fight that's with a Kong. And then uh, Iki's shared. Oh, he's picking a fight with the greatest horde. It's like uh, there. That's a brave move there. Yeah, but uh, I like the fact he's got such a dark color as well. It's just like this. Horrible seething mass pouring over now your Now, Johan, has he gone for Yeah, his... Johan's gone with his... He knew this was going to happen, so he left that country there to yeah, be... Yeah, uh, just Annihilated. Uh, Meneth is trying to desperately grab some land for himself as well, just sealing up his country there. Because you've got to do it fast, or else the other nations are going to start infringing on your territory. So so to doing him. what he can, and uh, Great Trigula... Oh, picking big fights here. Yeah, he's gone big here... And that might be a very bad idea if the, the Proust, oh. who has allied the, the Millhaven, is going Starman's for... ruler is dead. Wow. <laughs> okay, don't know who his ruler was, but he's got a not too shabby heir. At, uh... I wonder what his original heir was. Yeah. Can we check his ledger entry to see what his, heir, his original ruler was like? Is There's it? a thought. If we jump over to the Proust, and I think if we check history, we have Alphonse wisely ruled... For a few months. Yeah, and but I wonder what his stats were like. Popped his clogs. Can we check uh, so his stats? I think if we go to... Uh, do, 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 do. 
Is it previous rulers? Yes. Uh, it's 336. Three, okay, so. <laughs> 336. Strict, bold fight. I wonder what he had planned. Yes, I have no idea what Starnard was thinking when he picked that ruler. But he's And he's got a one military ruler now. <laughs> With Oh, they're an architect. They just want peace. <laughs> yes. All along he only wanted peace. Yes, your your people are trying to tell you something, Starnan. Yeah. Yes. When it comes to rulers, I think uh, I think we have been told to check out the ruler of Great Britannia as well. Oh! We have Lelouch, the sixth of Britannia. And uh, this heir, Chris Jacobson of v Britannia. Well, I, don't know, I don't know what he's trying to say. I here. don't know. I don't know. I mean, really. <laughs> and what's, what's our skill, though? What's, what's Jake? We, we've got some loose lips. Uh, what's, what's, he, what's he trying to say here? I don't know. This is savage and uncalled for I, here. I, uh, I don't... Let's... Objection, Your Honour. This, yes, is, this is quite improper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you think is leading the Order of St. Johan? Oh, sorry. The Order of uh, St. John. John. Uh, maybe there's a spelling error there. Johan von... <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> <laughs> and he's a zealot, four 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 zealot, incorruptible, four 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 zealot, and a tactical genius. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got his uh, his queen as well, the hard egg. A hard egg there. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So well, uh, mm -hmm. no egoistical stuff here. You give himself some, uh, yeah, some reasonable stuff. reasonable stats. Now we can only have a poll on, and everyone says it's going to be the salty one. Daniel is winning at the moment. Yeah, he was robbed in the last campaign at the yeah. very last moment by the player slayer himself. Not that he's bitter, I just want to be no, that perfectly clear. Not. There was a distinct not. shortage of salt in the office. <laughs> <laughs> thanks thanks for showing that uh, to us there, Blondie. Yes. Okay. Somebody's asking to check if Ulm is a whole is, is a horde. We only have the province of Ulm. I don't think we have the nation of Ulm. But you know, we don't see the whole map yet. We yeah. had a quick glance over here, maybe we can save that for uh for yeah, it's a bit of uh, entertainment now. Yeah. I mean, there, there's wars going on left and right, but are there any player wars? That's what I'm wanting to know. Uh, Lanao is not a not a real nation, heavens no. No, it's just people eating up those around them, as far as I can see. That includes yeah. uh, Britannia taking on the Bestonians. The power of Estonia, I mean, it's yeah. a big... He wants that 17 development over in uh, Sutherland. I mean, yeah. that, when I was last there, it was a real thriving metropolis. I don't know about you. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's an the... awesome place. I'd have to rethink this uh, this beach if it's got yeah. ten development from the start. Yeah, it could be like quite tropical now. Actually, it's probably a bit more accurate. Uh, but then uh, Sean, they have some reasonable development down there. They're gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, people are asking about number one AI nation. So I think the great powers will tell us more here. Vasalia, they went straight for top spot here. We've got Aquitaine, Millhaven. So it's mostly. Uh, Alan Bang, though that is. Yeah, who are who are there? They're a wee monastic order. Yeah, well, there they are up there. We're up there in, in Estonia, actually. Huh. Well, how about that? So our biggest, most powerful AI nation is in Estonia. Now, well, it, it, we are set with historical lucky nations. So who was the lucky nation? Okay, well, England here. Will be lucky. Or will they? Will they indeed? How can we check? Mm, well, I mean, we can't... Apparently we can't see much right now. Let's go and see what everybody can see, so we can get a better idea of this. I'm trying to remember what the what the lucky nation bonus gives. I uh, don't know. No, Something I thought, lucky. I thought, it, I thought it gave um, some unrest reduction, but it's not showing there. Maybe they don't get the luck as long as Great Britain is on the map. Yeah, Great Britain stole the lucky tag oh, from them. Oh, dear. Okay, she won't get it on England with uh, Great Britain around. All right, okay. it's a request for the religious map mode. How generous are we feeling? Very. Let's go. Okay, so mishmash here. The Catholics are being kind of chased out of Europe here. Yes. The Orthodox have a great line. I wonder if Palembang can hold up Catholicism in the East as Shia rips through Europe. Yeah. And the Catholics are the uh, West and Italy holding strong, but the Norse, they're going to take over, uh, well, over in the North, over in Britain. And uh, I think Johan, since he is a... Oh, yeah, I thought he would be a monastic order since he's an order, but no. He's... No, apparently he's an order that's not an order. No, Norse is spreading out here, there, and everywhere, though. Got the Jews, the Copts. And the Copts. Yeah, and the Catholics. Aye. Oh, it's, it's going to be a real mishmash. We were expecting 
A lot more Shinto, though. When we were talking about what uh, religions people are going to be, we suspected a lot of people would want to jump on that Shinto bonus. Yes. But uh, it looks like only Nevaluki has gone for that. Nevaluki also valuing high mill stat. Uh, okay, Vasali actually went for a very... Then maybe that's where he got his pro extra provinces, though. Yeah, it must be. But he, that means he'd want to fight an early war against Aquitaine, and he looks kind of ready for that. Yes, he's showing... A yeah, I mean, Aquitaine have their fair share of allies, including the Order of St. John and Vesalia. Oh, well, oh. Krakow, Sardinia, Germany. Yes. Do Germany want to march on Aquitaine? Yes or yes? We'll see if they... Uh, they probably won't be able to be pulled in on promise of land, though. But I think we can tell from the very start that between uh, Aquitania... They call, no, they call themselves Aquitaine. Between Aquitaine and Vesalia. There's uh, no it's going to be it's going to be a knife fight yes. at dawn here. All right, um, should we check out another set of ideas, and if so, who's... Cer certainly. Well, why don't we ask the chat? Who whose ideas do you want to see? You know, yes. we do this for the people. Yes. So uh, right, you, people. you ask, and we shall provide. We, sh we will consider. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. oh. oh no, Great Britain's dying. Yes. Oh, this isn't allowed. All right, let's see. Um, Okay, people are... I'm seeing a lot of love for Starnan. Yeah, I think Starnan. We, we'll declare yeah. Starnan the winner mm -hmm. here. Seeing a lot of love for the Bruce here. So yeah. let's, uh, let's jump into Starnan's boots here. He's building up spy network around him on uh, Great Tragula. I wonder, wonder what he means by that. Okay, so we now know that he's got his not-so-hot... Uh, well, that's still not bad, but it's not the stat he it's, wants there. It's not quite as good as he... So as how much military are you thinking we're going to see here? I think we're going to see a lot of military here. Morale, 15%. 5% uh, technology and 20% artillery combat ability. Mm, now, these are very expensive to take early on, so how is he balancing it out? Uh, hello, Jake. Read idea two first. So diplomatic technology cost minus five. Hi again, Jake. Read idea four. Admin five. <laughs> Greetings, Jake. Just wasted about 15 seconds of your time. Well, you wasted everybody's time there. So. Yeah, so minus 10%. But yeah. let's check out idea three here. Yeah, useful idea. This is not to balance out my ideas at all. <laughs> Oh, right. there's a cheeky wee thing where people can use female uh, advisor chance to like balance out admin versus mill, even though it's free. Yeah. And we were like, we could change this, but it's a bit late. We'll just leave it in. So now right. it's like a mark of shame yes. on people that just want to balance out their ideas. All right, so we idea number five. Money. Money, Money for everyone except the taxpayers. <laughs> National tax increase. 15%. Uh, erase hug boxes. <laughs> After countless wars against hug boxes, we're now more efficient at destroying them. Land, Land fire, fire damage, 15%. 15 you know, Starnan was sitting there putting extensive testing, as the QA that he is, into fire damage. And he was like, I just wanted to make sure all the modifiers worked perfectly well. That was very good of him there. Yeah. To his, his devotion. Yes. It's admi admirable. I guess after thoroughly testing it and not before, he had decided that it needed to be uh, on his list. Salt proof warriors. We're now more <laughs> resistant to <laughs> salt. <laughs> okay, but uh, yes. what's. It looks like he's gone to war with the greatest of Tragulas. Oh. He's pulling in quite a bunch. Yes. He's pulled in Rickard. And, our laser. Uh, and yes, and this I gotta say, for the man who wants to erase hug boxes, straight away. What is this? This is not a hug box. I believe a star man will be claiming. No, I mean let, let's look at uh, great powers here. Are any of them on the great power list? Well, I guess not. No, Millhaven number yeah. two uh, great powers coming in here, and Prus. Prus so we've got is, our first uh, player no. war here. Yeah, okay. Now the uh, the Rurik... Uh, Rurik? Rukvik? I'm, I'm going to need to remember this name here. The Ruriks are fighting against the Trags and... Uh, oh, this looks like it's going to be one hell of a beating. Oh, boy. As the Brits, Britons sit there. Okay, so he's been chased back. Oh, he's been chased back. I don't think he gets many forts around here, so... And that's his capital fort over in Kiev. That's dangerous times. Yeah, so... so the question is, is anybody going to come to the great Tragulan defense? Because this is uh, this is going to greatly strengthen the Prus 
the Millhaven and the Rurix early on. Yes, this is most definitely not a hug box, so we want to make that clear. No. <laughs> now, uh, he might not be long for this world, so maybe we should take a look at the Tragulan ideas. Yes, let's see what he... This is kind of like a game show. This is what you could have won. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's see. Oh, no! Oh, another one jumping on in! <laughs> oh, my goodness me, Gnevom! Oh, my. Gnevom is just so... He, he took a lot of land, so he wouldn't uh, be feeling the burn too hard, and now he, he's going to take even more. So um, these great Tragulan ideas. Well, first off, they're led by Trin Tragulid himself, the 606 bold fighting malevolent objective perfectionist mm -hmm. with their queen. And what are they boasting here? 15% oh. morale, 15% shock damage. Oh, he's no. wanting to go for that early gain. That's a, that's a big call here. Yeah, if he can survive this war, he'll be... Yeah, that, that's pretty good if he can if he can survive. That's a big if, but it yeah. looks like the Rurix have been chased back hard here. Yes, well, I mean, I think that's his shock damage there, is yeah. murdering the Rurix, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just very strange that our laser picked this side, though. I yes, mean, uh, yeah, he never learns. That's good. You hand no. it to our laser. <laughs> it's consistent. Call of the Monsoon. Yes, there are a few things the Tragulian people crave more than the soothing black drink they call coffee. They must help merchant houses of Tregula to reach the tropical shores of Malabar and a rich supply of the beverage they can revitalize the tired. Well, I think they're movement. gonna lose their only coastline pretty soon here. That'll make them move that bit faster. At Astra, there is a saying in Tregulia that one day the kingdom will seize the stars from the open sky. Getting into space, however, is not an easy task. This national ethos is one that fosters efficiency and productivity. So I think Tragula is wanting to get into space here. War games. Careful study of outcomes in millions of played board games. Everyone from the highest general to the lowliest foot soldier can learn valuable insights and understanding of the our plans leads to unparalleled determination. Well, sadly, uh, they're not going to live long enough to well, study we'll see. the board games. Next. Well, well, I mean, he's taken down the Rurik, the forts are holding, if he was able to consolidate if plenty of power. he can take that once he takes that capital fort, though. Yeah, Kiev is, Kiev is down! Wow, okay, Rurik is He's feeling... almost now, he can almost now, almost, he's very close to knocking Rurik out. Yeah. Oh, here we go! Alright, come on, it's go time, get ready for war. Who has he caught there? Come on, slaughter them! Oh, this is one hell of a beating! One. Where we got the stack wipe? No, that was some incredible rolls from uh, yeah. Rurik that saved him from certain annihilation there. Yeah, but that, that shock damage there. Yes, indeed. If he goes hunting the Starnan, we'll see. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of units here that he'd have to yeah, take care you. of. Oh. And the Tragula is tapped on manpower, money's not looking so hot, and they're losing their great power status. Well, I think they've got more... I think great power status is probably the least of their yeah. concerns right now. <laughs> Uh, where were we though? The uh, monthly war exhaustion reduction, that's a great idea. Yeah. Reaching the stars, mm -hmm. Trig uh, Tragulian people. Know that not everything comes easy in life. Together with the laid back Scanian culture of their forefathers, this allows them to preserve in adversity, uh, persevere in adversity. Extra states due to their institute of cartography, very typical for our uh, content designer to come mm -hmm. up with that. Since the dawn of the uh, Tragulian state, the procurement and study of ancient Oh, here maps. we go, battle. Oh, more fighting. He wants to show what he's made of. Is this a fort? No, it's not a fort. He's charging into the highlands. He's not scared. Look at him. He's wiping well, that's if he wipes... shock damage there. Oh, wow. He's going to bring them all down. That's you can't a... count the Tragulian people out no, he's... just yet. I will... This, this is a big win for... Yeah. But nobody coming to his defence, you know, Sheridan... Sheridan! <laughs> Sheridan's coming to defend them by integrating them into their greater realm. Well, you got to hand it to Icky, you know, he... He's he, always... he never misses a beat, you know, yes. he took over the Great Horde and decided, well, I know where I'm going now. He's probably wanting to cut off the, yeah. uh, the expansion that these guys would have around here. Because yes, if he takes this, then where else can uh, the Seagans go? Not, not very far. Mm. All right, I think we better finish these ones up then. They yeah, get their just... cartography skills. He's got the administrative efficiency. Now, people won't have seen this as an idea to select before, mm -hmm. but uh, we are, as ever, playing on the hottest of code. So, <clears throat> we got some new shiny things. 
And his final one here. Uh, we've got the taking turns. As centuries go by, they ask themselves if we've not been diverging tasks evenly. So again, he's balancing things out to that female advisor chance, and he finishes up with absolutism. And he's going to be praying to survive to the absolutism age. Yeah, otherwise it might not be the best of no. choices. Now, I fear for this situation because Rurik is getting Well, he's here. pieced out the, the, the player slayer. Probably yeah. a smart move there. Yeah, it looks like they took uh, Celestria. Mm -hmm. So, it's a two-development grassland. I don't really know what the hubbub was, but... But, uh, but he's, got, he's got out of one more. Yeah, he's out of one, and he's just got to deal with two more. Can he get some allies out of nowhere? Now, unfortunately for Millhaven, doesn't really have any hostile people around them. Mm -hmm. St. John getting a bit smashed here by uh, by these folks. Uh, Rurik, though. I mean, this looks like it'll benefit Millhaven and Prusin while Rurik are going to be feeling the burn from this. Yes, they chose. They chose um, questionably. Oh, yes. <laughs> Maybe not poorly yet, but questionably. Mm-hmm.